YouTubers. Just want to let you know how blessed I really feel. Yeah, buddy. Ah! Hey, YouTubers. See two battery charging? These are the two that I couldn't get to work before. Thanks to the help of Papa Phil and my uh, unwillingness to give up, I was able to solder the leads back on this battery and put it back together and get it to work. And this one, I was able to fix it because the problem was a connector on that one. Dean's plugs junk. I was able to salvage two more Dean's plugs for now. But I got XT60 plugs coming in the mail. You're better off with XT60 or 90 or anything other than Dean's. Dean's are junk. But for, that's what I got for now, so that's what I'm using. But I just wanted to let you know that I got, got it working. And you can see I forgot to put a string tube on this wire. But it's alright. It's only temporary. Because I got new plugs coming in. I'm going to put a little electrical tape around that. And that'll be good for now. Until the new plugs come and when I just put the new plugs on, I'll do them all up good. You see this one I did pretty good. It's the Dean's connectors though, they're junk. They're just no good. You see I can... I can test them. Four point one nine volts. And if I switch to the left channel, so it shows it's charging. So I want to go to battery meter and start. See, they're all good. It's good. We're charging. And this is the batteries when they look good. They had I bought ordered three of them. Two of them came in, I put plugs on them, two of them wouldn't work. One of them the metal the aluminum tab on the lipo cell was broken off somehow something happened with it I think my whole problem really originally was that I put Dean's connectors on because Dean connectors are junk and I had the the wrong solder it was like 96 4 solder which is way too hard took way too much by the time I got the, the solder and everything hot enough to bond together the plug was melted not to mention Dean's are just junk connectors so long story short all batteries are fixed, and these last two are charging. My Maximus has no wheels on it. I'll show you. If you can see, I can see, there we go. I took the ties off the rims. Look at the rims. They are destroyed. They look even worse now that I got them off the, got the tires off the uh, rims. I don't know where the other rim was, but you can see that. Look at that. That's not usable. That's no good. If I put the tire back on there, that thing will wobble all around. There's no wonder they were wobbling. Not to mention they were wet. Now, this foam came apart. I suppose I can just glue that back together. But they're drying out, and I got new rims coming. They probably won't get it for another week. But uh, I got new tires coming Tuesday. Special order. Good advice from Papa Phil. Thank you, Papa Phil, for your good advice. I feel so blessed. I don't have tires to put on my Maximus, and I don't even care. Why? Because I am blessed. I love you all. Y'all stay confident but humble. Peace out, my tubers. You know it. Wally's RC Wheels. Say it out. See ya. Wally's RC Wheels. See ya.